I'll never forget the first time that I trained with a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If you're ever a martial artist or you think about martial arts, uh, Jiu Jitsu is unlike any other martial art that at least I'm aware of and I was not prepared for what happened to me that day. My professor, I've been uh, training with him now for uh, almost seven or eight years, Jeremy Arell, has been a black belt longer than I've been training Jiu Jitsu. So that day he taught me that I had no idea how to control my body or to stop a black belt from taking, him, taking me to the mats. Now, you might be wondering, what does jujitsu have to do with money and how can I apply the principles of jujitsu to my life? But before I tell you uh, my top three things about jujitsu and money, please, on behalf of the jujitsu community, if you know someone or someone tells you that they train jujitsu, don't give them the karate hands. Number one, I told you that my professor is a black belt. He's an expert. He's been training, he's been a black belt longer than I've actually been training in the martial art. So I think when it comes to money, it's important for you to seek out counsel or advice of someone who's an expert. If you're looking to save money, if you're looking to invest for the future, invest for retirement, seek out a financial professional that can help you. Look for someone who's going to be held to a fiduciary standard, which means they are required to put your interests before their own and help you reach your goals. Jeremy runs his school that way. One of his mission statements is to give jujitsu to as many people as possible. And because he's an expert, he's more than generous with his knowledge and his ability to help people achieve their personal goals. So number one, if you're going to go down the path of money and personal finance, make sure you reach out and look for a professional or an advisor that can help you on your journey. Number two, personal finance is often a lot more personal than it is about finance. And I'll relate it to jujitsu in this way. When I started training, there were lots of other people that started training along the way. And over the years, what you'll find if you train in any type of martial arts or even if you play sports, there are going to be people that get better faster than you. There are going to be people that have a natural talent or ability to excel and you don't understand you're doing all the same things you're going to the same classes but fact is they're doing better than you are that is human nature where we compare ourselves and our journey to other people the same thing happens with our money we're going to work we're trying to do the right things we're trying to invest and yet we hear somebody is you know they've got a better investment portfolio than we than we did last month or last year or you know, they're, they're making more money or it looks like that they're just doing just much better than us. And our, our tendency is to compare ourselves to what they're doing, when quite frankly, it has nothing to do with you. Your journey is your journey and you need to have the roadmap by working with the advisor that is tailored to you. Don't fall into the trap of comparing yourself to other people because that could discourage you and keep you off of the path you need to be on. So make sure that you remember personal finance is personal. Don't compare yourself to other people. Number three, when a lot of parents hear that I train in martial arts and that I do jujitsu or train jujitsu, they'll come and ask me about their kids and, and what, what do I think about their, their children being involved in martial arts and I tell them, I love jujitsu and the main reason I love it is you cannot fake it. So same thing applies in your financial life. If you, if you continue to do the wrong things, if you overspend or you go into debt, or you make poor financial choices, what happens is, is over time, those decisions compound on you. They, compa they compound against you. So, well, with jujitsu, if you, don't train regularly if you come a little bit and then you quit and then you try to restart it is very hard to make progress you can't fake your way through it the same goes with our money we have to start on a path stick to that path and stay disciplined so that's what my three tips would be for how do i how do i compare money and jujitsu it's one find a find a coach find an advisor somebody that can help you number two remember it's personal don't compare yourself to other people. It'll discourage you. And number three, it's going to be a grind. It's going to be a, a marathon, not a sprint. Stick to it. You can't fake your way through it. Keep doing the right things and they will compound for you over time.